Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. The Wednesday prayer circle, uh, Amy's prayer circle, that is. And two dogs. And, and the, my two little mascots. Uh, I hope, also you can watch this on our app, The Cure, streaming on light throughout, throughout social media, 3 p.m. also. And we hope everyone's well. Today we'll be praying about fearing God. What does it mean to fear God? His delight? Uh, consider the words of Psalm 147, 10, 3, 11. His delight is not this in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man, but the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. And Psalm 33, 8, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the Lord stand in awe of him. By way of contrast, the wicked, yes, the wicked person does not fear God. He doesn't stand in awe of God. The wicked has a low view of God. Transgression speaks to the wicked. Deep in his heart, there is no fear of God. Before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes. That his iniquity, iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth are trouble and deceit. He has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Psalm 36. The wicked person has such a low view of God and such a lack of awe for God that he doesn't think God can find out his sin or hate it. He doesn't act wisely or do good because he doesn't view God as holy and just and, just and serious about punishing sin. He trusts his own wits and strength. Obviously, the Lord doesn't find any pleasure in the wicked. God, we pray that our hearts would learn how to rightfully fear you, how to we bow before you, acknowledging you as Lord and Savior of lives, praising you and your might, your sovereignty, your power, your strength, your mercy, and your justice. We thank you for your unending love even when we're undeserving, which is always. We stand in awe with you. We surrender our hearts to you. We put you first, Lord. Amen. May the fear of the Lord keep them from sin, and in turn, the grace of the Lord keep them walking in obedience. In Jesus' name, amen. Please let the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the fear of the Lord, do such a work in my life today that I never again hold you lightly or in low esteem. Lord, correct me when I'm misled by the world. Lead me when I go astray. I yearn to be righteous and holy and sin free, for that is what true fear is. Amen. Thank you for praying with us and the dogs. And so we'll see you Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern on the radio show, The Cure, which we live stream also. And on Sirius XM, channel 131, <laughs> the family channel. So until next Wednesday, much love. Be kind to yourself and everyone. True to your values. Uh, stand for truth. Pray every day. Stay strong. Trust God. Don't lose hope. And keep the faith. God bless.